Hey guys, it's me, Neek. And welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to a wedding, so let's get ready together. The weather is too hot and I'm really sat here in 27 degree heat wearing a dressing gown. Life has been a hectic recently. Not even hectic, but just like, ugh. It's now summertime and I'm ready like Freddy to put on my Instagram story. Oh guys, I'm doing a get ready with me. Ask me some questions. But due to me being off of social media for such a long time and my engagement being like really, really poor, a lot of people saw it, but nobody actually answered. So I said on my business page instead, people ask me some questions. I've got some questions. I've got like three. I've actually been off social media for like a really long time. I need to be ready by one. I've got two hours. My aim is to finish my makeup by 11.30. I don't even know where to start. Content creating is actually something that I've put off for such a long time now because of uni. It was my assignment season to be exact. It just, it was, mm, uni is the epiphany of stress. I knew exactly what I had to go and do, but did I do it? It took me a long time to, but I did. This video is basically just gonna be like a rambling one of me just chatting the most about random stuff, hoping that it can be put into some sort of, you know. Guys, by the way, I got a new makeup bag from Primark, love it. I disappeared off the earth for like three months, content creating wise at least. I had priorities. Uni just stresses me out. When it was assignment season, I actually found myself questioning several times. Do I really want to be in university right now? Is university really for me? Really and truly, if I think back to college time, yeah, me and my peers, we all had an assignment and the assignment was to write a personal statement for a university. I don't really remember if we were to actually submit it or if it was just like a little assignment task thing. I actually ended up submitting mine to the unis of my choice. Now I'm in uni and it's like, oh, this is not how my teacher described it would be for me. Old lecturer, um, they were like to me, uni is so fun like you're gonna love it you're gonna enjoy it it's gonna be just such a different atmosphere for your uni it's gonna be so cool you can just learn like how to use the camera and everything and da, 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 da. two years down the freaking line i'm in university thinking why am i even here i don't think anyone actually understands during assignment season i felt like i was gonna die die is very dramatic but like i felt like there was nothing left for me anymore. I had four different assignments going complete. I'm very grateful that I actually passed every single one of them. I really went through the four stages of grief whilst doing those assignments. Like even when it came to like GCSEs, uni assignments really, no, college, GC, oh, GCSEs. Don't even get me started. It just means that whenever I do my makeup, I don't use wet beauty blenders. Like I don't actually like wet them underwater like you're supposed to. I don't actually have the energy for that. I feel like after assignment season, it's taken me such a long time to get back into myself and how I am as a person. Because when it, when it, whenever it comes to assignments, I literally get consumed by them. I'm so glad that now I have summer to just chill. This mirror is my favorite. It's by by Jungle Official. I love it. And to the conclusion that I speak really, really fast sometimes and like literally no one can actually understand what I'm saying. The thing is though, is that sometimes my brain just speaks 10 times faster than what my mouth can physically say at the time. And it's like, uh, very simple what I look to do. See how pretty that is, like that is so, like look at that, it's so reflective and pretty all over. I'm 20 years old and I, d I feel like I, I have a purpose in life, but I just don't really know what that is yet. You know, like I'm still in the process of working everything out. I don't really like the stigmatism around, oh my days, yeah, like, as soon as you complete your GCSEs, what are you gonna go and do? Like, what's your life plan? What's my life plan? Are you joking right now? This is nice. Like, I just want to just like a little bit of sparkle on my eye. Sparkly and cute. I know exactly where I want to go with my life. Actually, no, I don't. That's actually a lie. I actually don't know. This time last year, I was literally in America, living my best life. I want, the thing is, the thing is, is that I start by saying something, then I completely forget what I said. I the most hardest thing about starting a business would be one, trying to find something that hasn't been done before, or trying to find something that has been done, but try to, you know, make it, completely your own when it comes to businesses i'm still learning because i have to teach myself everything i don't mind when it comes to a business name business names and their meanings are so important to me i wanted to come up with a unique name that hasn't been thought of before i knew i wanted to 
combine the elements of myself and what I wanted my business to represent. I need a fan right now. The closest thing I have to a fan is this, but yeah, like my business name was very much important to me. Um, I feel like chatty get ready with me. I feel like chatty get ready with me is like, quite hard for me to do because I just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk, and like I lose track of what I'm saying because I'm so excited about saying something else. I'm getting picked up at one. I'm not gonna be putting on a lot of foundation today because it's very hot today and I don't want to be sweating off. This is a very much unfiltered get ready with me. Wait, you see the shade match? Yeah. When it comes to makeup, I have a whole routine of what I do. I'm still on my makeup journey. Figure out what exactly works for me. If your hand doesn't look like this when you're doing your makeup, something's definitely going on. I literally just put product on my face and hope for the best sometimes. I love doing my makeup on myself. I haven't actually had a client in such a long time. I'm at a point in my life now where I want to just chill. Like some people say, oh yeah, like I want to sit down with someone. I want to sit down with myself. I want to have peace. No problems, okay? Put on some music because I need good vibes right now. I'm seeing Scissor. I'm actually pretty excited. Anyway, got things in places to be. Let's get a move on, shall we? I get nervous whenever I do YouTube videos and I kind of forget what I'm doing. My concealer's been sitting for like five minutes. It's so good to have important friends in your life who will be there for you regardless. I'm so grateful for the people who I have in my life right now. I've come to a point in my life to continue moulding. I'm moulded, but I'm unfinished. Like there's things that I still got to work on. Let's listen to some more tunes, okay? Start then. Leave me alone. There's free delivery on everything until Tuesday. Commercialism. On all hide and sleep mattresses. I'm done. You're doing good, you're doing good. This is the final makeup look. I love it. My makeup looked so good. 10 out of 10 from me. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.